All right, so now we are going to touch base on mail merge, the mail merge function, because it is absolutely awesome. All right, so what I've done is I've gone ahead and I just added some fake email addresses here. I'm assuming it's going to let me do this, but it should be just fine. So what I want to do is I want to go up here. Let's say I have a group coming up and I want to let everybody uh, know about it. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to do send mass email. It says nothing was selected yet. So I'm going to go through and this is how I choose which people I want to include in this mail merge. So I just click on whoever it is that I want. Let's just say I want everybody here to get this email from me. That gets everyone. All right, so I've got those people here. I want to continue with mail merge. And it's going to put everybody in this email. And it's going to be, it's kind of like a blind carbon copy, a BCC. It's not going to show everyone else's email address, obviously. You don't want to do that. So everything is in here. I'll then choose my snippet. Let's just say I want to send them the last call for my July 11th group. And I can either snooze this and create when I want it to be sent out, or I can send it right now. So obviously I'm not gonna send this, these aren't actual real um, email addresses, but how simple is that? That's all you have to do to send a mass email to everybody on your list. It's how I send out my monthly newsletter. It's very easy, just within less than a minute, I can get my newsletter out to everybody, um, who are in my pipelines that I would like to have that email. Very, very, very easy. All right, so I'm gonna close this one out, and I wanna show you, okay, one other, one thing too, let's do this. If I am going to send an email to somebody, and I'm gonna do mass email again. Let's try this this way. Mass email. Tab box is selected, continue with mail merge. So if I want to do a customized, you know how in my boxes I have the first name and last name separated. The reason is because you can go into customize your template and I am going to find the field that I created that says first name. And I'm gonna add that in here and I'm just gonna put hi, blah, blah, blah. Their name will be in there. I wanna add a comma after it. I will find this, make sure you get that out of there. And now it's going to say, hi, Charlani, or hi, Janet, or Tina, whatever it is, whatever their first name is, whatever is in that field, that is what is going to show on your mail merge. And I'm gonna send that, and everybody is going to get a personalized email, right? Pretty dang amazing. All right. So let's close that one out. Um, okay, so another thing I'm actually going to go in because you can see who has read your email. See this little green eye? That means that that email has been opened and they have viewed it. So you know when people have viewed what it is that you have sent to them. The other thing I'm gonna show you is see how some of these have orange uh, boxes, some have gray. The gray means that this email is not tied to a specific box. You wanna get these emails tied to a specific box because then when you're in that box and you're communicating and having a conversation with one of your prospects or challengers, you'll have the information that you have sent to them right there. You'll know exactly what email they have sent you or you have sent them and you don't have to go in and search for it. You can actually just see what's in there. So this one, I'm gonna tie this email to a box and it's for Aura, so I'm gonna do that. Now, if I click on this email, and then I go into her box, which if I click right there, it takes me directly into that. That email is going to be right here, and it's going to show me all of the emails that I have sent or she has sent to me. 
makes it really, really, really easy. I absolutely love that. Um, all right, so that is pretty much how a mail merge works. I think it's pretty simple. It saves you so much time when you are you know, creating a challenge group, you're basically telling everybody the same thing. If you know that you want to maybe personalize things a little bit more, you absolutely can. And you would just, you know, not send the mass email to those people and send something to them privately. You can do it either way. But when you have things like my newsletter that I want to get out or a blanket general, hey, I've got a free um, challenge group coming up. I would love for you all to be in it. Share it with a friend. It doesn't cost you anything. You know, you want something like that to go to just about everybody and doing a mail merge is a great quick way to do that. All right, so I hope that helps. I would love to hear your feedback if any of this stuff has helped you. So have a wonderful, wonderful night. All right, guys. Bye.